Being a woman scientist, let's start at just a scientist, right? And, and forget about it being a, a forensic scientist. It's always been a struggle, right? We are, uh, we don't get the recognition that we deserve. I have seen a shift. I have seen a change in recent years. When I think of my students, my younger students, uh, I'm a role model and a mentor for them. I'm going to, um, you know, show them that I can be strong and I can be independent and I have a voice and I can be a leader. I never wanted to be someone is appointed to a leadership role just because they're a woman or even just because they're a person of colour. That, that shouldn't happen, right? It's not tokenism that we want. And also we don't want uh, to be told that it's a diversity hire, you know, just to kind of make the board more um, ple pleased or whatever. Our forensic science programme has 650 undergraduates. And then if I include our graduates, we have about 800 current students in forensic science. 85% of them are women. So I have like a responsibility and a duty of care to show all of those young women uh, that we can succeed, that we can forge our own paths, that we can be leaders and we can take a position at the top table. We have, there's space for us there.